see those fathers that happened today. So I went, I saw the body left in the box and people are chit chatting here, there and all. And then they took the body to the village. That need changes in the Hindu custom when you look into the Christian custom. The body is wrapped beautifully, the church father comes, he does a prayer in the house, then the body is taken into the church, one hour mass where people have been non-stop reminded about their religion, that they are about their faith, and then they talk about the person who left his good deeds, and then a beautiful prayer for his wife and children and other things so that we can bring down. It's a beautiful medicine to bring down the psychological problems after a person leaves you. But in the Hindu custom, it was not there. They talk too big. But this needs quite a lot of changes. Just throw the body just like that. Yes. It's very, very painful. I found uh, the Christian style is very, very beautiful. And all the Hindus, yes, must do that, must do that. The body should be brought, prayer should be done, body should be brought to the temple and the nearest temple and a beautiful prayer has been connected. Almost all the functions you need to do the prayer. Otherwise, how are you going to connect the people to your family tradition, to your foundation? Yes. Once the foundation has been disconnected, what happens to the kite when you're pulling the kite and you disconnect it falls into somebody else's terrace? It's gone. It cannot fly anymore. Same is the, is your life that you must understand. And I think we have to do a campaign, a revolutionary campaign to make sure this is a must. Even a child is born, marriage, everything. In marriage time also I see the same thing happening. Hindus come, eat and then go. Not a single word has been spoken about the boy or the girl and the family background. But in the Christian church, yes, the boy's background, the girl's background, everybody feels very happy that they have been connected. And they get a chance to stand up and pray, at least on that function time, to pray, to pray, to pray. The moment you stop your prayers, Devil will be very happy. Jean Marie Bovia de la Morte Uyon, born on 13th April 1648 in Montargis in France, attained some of the 9th June 1717 in Blois in France, was a French mystic accused of advocating quietism. Although she never called herself a quietist, quietism was considered heretical by the Roman Catholic Church and she was imprisoned from 1695 to 1703 after publishing the book A Short and Very Easy Method of Prayer. Jean Marie Beauvais de la Borde Bouillon say it is the fire of suffering that brings forth the gold of godliness. I should go and ask all the goldsmiths or I should go back with that investigation agency to talk to the gold when the goldsmith puts him in the highest temperature of fire. And when gold melts it, you can make varieties of ornaments. Did the gold go through a suffering? Gold must have enjoyed being in different ornaments in different bodies. Then being a stone. Jean Marie Bouvier de la Borde, you, you said, is the fire of suffering. Yes, there is a fire. That, that fire is called the spirit. And the spirit comes from your Sanskrit, what you learn. If you jumped and danced in your land and climbed the trees and you could face the rain from the day you were born. And when it is hot, it is the hot. When it is cold, it is the cold. You enjoy the beautiful sunlight and the sweating and sweating makes you to melt every part of the unnecessary fat and the diseases like what Rakham School has done during the corona time. We ran away 
from Indranagar came to Devine Hali. We were in the sun from morning 6 to evening 6. We were sweating and sweating and burning and no corona and corona came. Jean Mary Bouvier de la Mouillon said, It is a fire of suffering. Yes, it is beautiful to see. And, and after the, all the dance and the palpitation, when you take a beautiful, you, you intend to take a beautiful bath, scrubbed bath, ah, and then you feel of eating. And I don't find if the suffering is because you would not been from the day one in love with the nature, with the with the fire of the sunlight, with the fire of the rain and the wind and the muddy water. You never thought of embracing the trees and the birds. You never thought of keeping your head onto the lap of your mother or keep the mother's head onto your lap and give a massage when you take a bath. Yes. Those things have all been disconnected. Then in that disconnection only you feel sufferings. Yes. And sufferings because you thought Everything is easy. The body shouldn't move because you have been always spoon fed by the doctors. Don't move. Don't cough. Don't laugh. And you never thought it was an invasion. You never thought it was a suppression. You never thought you have been slaved by those words. Break the chains of those Suppressions, and you can find it is a fire of suffering. Jean Marie Bouvier de la Mode Guyon said it is a fire of suffering. Suffering because she must have taken it from the language of the dictionary or from the church because she was a Catholic girl. So, suffering. What beautiful! Like the Zen master says on the operation theater, yes. They were operating an anesthesia. He said, no anesthesia. He wanted to see how they're cutting. He got separated from his body and watched how the pain, how they could cut open. Yes. When you are practicing the Samskriti, this pain becomes nothing. Then not a single lady will say, tell the husband. Neither the husband and the doctor's hand in and glove will make sure there is a birth. A natural birth, not a cesarean birth, a cut open birth. Yes, you, everyone, truth of yours, everyone, answers of your thing, yours was a cesarean, borrowed, cut open, copied. But when answers flows of its own, it is natural. In that natural, you never find it is suffering because you have melted. When you finish your push-ups, after you keep on doing your push-ups of 100 or 200, and you cannot move anymore, the hand cannot move anymore, oh, then your friend keeps pulling up counts the same amount of push-ups, and you scream to the highest level. I don't think anybody of that to practice ever think it was suffering. You were enjoying. It was paining one thing, and the blood rushes out from your nose. You fall down unconscious, get up, and the leader asks you, How was it? He said, It's paining, but I'm enjoying. You are away, but watch the pain. Pain is not somebody outside your room. Once you think it is an outside person, then you feel your wife is also from outside, husband is also outside, children are outside, parents are outside. You have been disconnected, and you become lonely. In that loneliness, highness, and forces are there to attack you. You have seen the natural. National Geographic Channel Animal World, where animals are a bit lonely at the back, attacked. And you have been attacked, and the only one medicine you have is the psychologist, psychiatrist, and the doctors. Jean, Mary, Bouvier, de la Motte, you, you say it's the fire of suffering brings forth the gold of godliness. Yes, this is gold, and it's gold every part of your tooth. You do not have to go to the dentist to create a golden tooth. Every one of you look is gold of godliness. It brings forth the gold of God. Every one of your word in 
the quietness of your words. Yes. What flows out from your mouth is gospel of truth. It's a gold of godliness. When you hug your wife with the gold of godliness, because you and the wife is not separate, you're not bringing a book in between. Your health and your disease, diseaseness, dislocation will never come for you. Disease, it is health because you have embraced. Yes, all your health, you are able to. Share your health, your happiness, your love. In that fire of suffering that brings forth the gold of godliness, do that. And you can see gold everywhere. And when the gold melts and you can make righteous ornaments, that righteous ornament is your money. You can just, just swipe it up. You can do a phone pay. You can do Google Pay or anything you can do it because anything when you walk, people do walk, come behind you. Like when I stopped my motorbike, I ordered for a tender coconut, I drank one from my Devon early to the I asked the lady, one more, one more she gave. And I was putting my hand in the pocket to take the money. She said, I don't want the money. I said, why? And she pointed me to to somebody. I looked, it was a policeman, a traffic police. Inspector Skelly, Sobhaji, I know you are seeing you. You didn't say, I have not met you. Allow me to give. That is the four gold of godliness. It's a fire of suffering that brings forth gold of godliness. You don't need money. People will just...